Ellen E here with Eyes on the Game, and I'm here at MGM with the Fighter of the Year, Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year, and also uh, one of the fights of the year. You are having your highly anticipated rematch with Leo Santa Cruz. Now, Carl Frampton, welcome to Las Vegas, and this is your first professional fight here in Las Vegas. How has this uh, week been for you? It's been great. We've been out here. I arrived in Las Vegas on the 2nd of January, so I've been here quite a while. I've moved into the MGM last week, last Friday, so I'm just getting itching to go. I'm ready to fight. Uh, I've been ready for a long time. I just can't wait. The, the travel and support has been fantastic as well. We've a lot of, lot of Irish and British guys over here to support me, so making it all the more exciting. Now, with Las Vegas having so much boxing history, I mean, what does it mean to finally fight here? It's huge. This is the mecca of boxing. Um, Las Vegas, but in particular the MGM and uh, this is where all the big fights happen this is where all Mayweather fights recently have happened the biggest name in boxing and uh, for me to be topping a bill here uh, you know there's not many UK fighters get to do that uh, there's not many featherweights get to top a bill in the MGM as well so I'm in a very lucky situation. Now you mentioned a lot of uh, fans of yours traveled out here. I mean, I read something about like 5,000. How good does that make you feel? Well, it's great. It keeps getting exaggerated. I think maybe if we do four, I'd be very, very happy. But, um, you know, 4,000 fans from back home is a huge number to bring here. I'm very grateful um, for the travel and support. And hopefully we can all go home together very, very happy. Yeah, and also, though, looking at the first fight uh, against Leo Santa Cruz, it was a majority decision. I mean, what made you want to give him the rematch right away? I enjoyed the last fight, uh, and I think the fans enjoyed it too. And, and I want to be involved in memorable fights. I, I was involved in a fight before the Leo fight against a guy called Scott Quigg, and it wasn't a great fight. I won the fight convincingly, but people stopped talking about it after six months, and... This fight will live long in the memory, and I think our, the rematch here, again, is going to be another great fight, a great occasion, and one that people will remember for a very long time. Now, what would winning the rematch uh, mean to you over winning uh, against him and the belt for the first time? It would, it would prove that the first one wasn't a fluke. It would prove that I am deservedly the 2016 Fighter of the Year, and that's what I want to do. It would cement my place as a top five pound-for-pound pound pound fighter. And uh, these are things I never thought I could achieve when I turned professional. I wanted to become a world champion. That was the dream. But um, to be spoke about, you know, as a top five pound for pound fighter, along with guys like Lomachenko, Terence Crawford and Andre Ward and so many great names, Roman Gonzalez, um, is a dream come true. Now, if uh, this fight is successful and you do defend your title, I mean, I know that one of your big goals is to become three-division world champion and the very first Irish man to do that. Um, would going up a weight class be your next thing if you defend your title this weekend? No, I would like to unify the division first and foremost. And there's a fight with Lee Selby has been spoke about. So potentially that could happen or, or Valdez or Gary Russell Jr. Um, but I just want to be involved in big fights. And... You know, don't get me wrong, if a, if a big fight materialized at one at one thirty, I'd be happy to jump straight up and, and take on the best up there as well. What if it was Lomachenko or Francisco Vargas? Yeah, they're, they're exciting fights, two great fighters. Lomachenko is someone who I respect tremendously. I think that he's a style like no other. If you look at, at all boxers through all eras, Lomachenko is, is completely unique, an amazing fighter. Um, but I want to be involved in exciting fights in great fights that make financial sense, obviously because I've got a young family back home. And I think all these guys make sense. Vargas as well, great fighter, always an exciting fight. Um, and that's, that's what I want to be a part of. Well, the first stop is this weekend, of course. And also, um, Leo, he did mention that this time around he wants to keep his distance. I mean, have you made any changes in camp specifically for this rematch? Yeah, you know, I think that the fight went pretty smoothly the first time for me. Uh, I think that the game plan was well, but I could have made it, you know, I, I could have made the fight easier for myself yeah. if it was a little bit more clever. I get drawn into a fight too much. Um, but we've made some minor adjustments in camp and... Uh, I think that if I can carry them on to the fight night, then, then I win more convincing this time. 